Wow, they are marvelous. I mean, horrible. It's the human. It's Peanut, the destroyer. <gasps> <gasps> Hello, Wolfpack. Ah, and welcome to Out of Scale VR, a Kutzkazat adventure. Now, for anyone unaware of Kutzkazat, they are one of the best channels on YouTube. There's, there's me right here, and then them right below me. Now, you'll always be able to recognize a Kutzkazat video because of the style, the beautiful animations, and the bright and vibrant colors. And now we're stepping into that world. But don't let this surface stuff distract you from the contents of their video, because they are some of the most well-informed and educational videos on the platform, teaching us about the smallest molecules on the planet, all the way to a giant black hole in space. So take your brain out of your head. Give it a little pat, because today it's gonna do some learning. They have created a virtual reality game, and boy, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. Oh. Welcome to the Kurtzkazak Scale Lab. Thank you. Where we investigate all things great and small. Please keep hands and feet inside the lab at all times. Okay, I will. You may use the yellow bar to adjust your position Ooh. until you're comfortable. comfortable. Now, one of the things this video series is known for is its narrator, who's having some issues right now. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, hi. I've been on standby for. I mean, I've been hard at right, work. Right, hard at work. Doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you must be on a tour of the Kurzgesagt labs. Huh? Oh, dang. Well, lucky you. You've wandered into the best lab by far. Let me show you around. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. What Check is Check out oh. the blue capsule on the left. This is my greatest invention a way to overcome the laws of physics. Wait, what? Shrinkagen. Shrinkagen. If you add it to things, they become teeny tiny. And I managed to invert it. So I can also scale things to giant size. Oh hell yeah! It can get a bit tricky when you overdo it, but seventy percent of the time it works every time. Sex Panther. Sixty oh. percent of the time it works every time. Almost forgot. There should be a tablet with Whoa. yellow handles nearby. That's the lab tab. It works as a travel guide for this lab. Oh, that's cool. It records as I talk and makes suggestions about what to do next. Okay, check out the machine on your right, the one with the big handle in the middle. Ah, oh, films, this we got toy bundles. Scalevator. It lets you grow and shrink this whole lab. Wait, seriously? So you can visit other realms and see the worlds within worlds around you for yourself. Oh, that's awesome. It can also take the lab outside. Let me demonstrate. Okay, yeah, I, I love the outdoors. Oh, whoa. Wow, it's good to be out again. So much data to be collected. Dude. Hmm. But I'm sure you can't wait to try out my invention. Hi, hi Ducky. Do you see a boxy white tool with a yellow handle? It um, looks like it could be some kind of blaster. Yeah. There it is, the multi-tool. Whoa. The first thing it does is analyze things. Hold down the trigger and point it at, let's say, that rubber duck. Or maybe uh, this girl. Boom, blam, boom, I'm analyzing you. Well, okay. Oh, look at this. You really do feel like you've stepped into one of their videos. Just the style, the colors, there's nothing else that even remotely resembles this, and it is awesome to be in here. Hello, Grandma. Prepare to explode. Boom, 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 and her head just explodes, and it's very gory. Okay, I got it. We gotta analyze the rubber duck. Gotcha. Despite their name, rubber ducks are generally made of plastic, not rubber but it will still make a perfect guinea pig. Uh, sure. To collect it, you'll need one of these red capsules with a big window in front. What red? I use shrinkagen to store the tools when they're not needed. Oh. It keeps the lab looking tidy. Oh, that's very clever of you. Okay, so I take this. Put that in the multi-tool. And then I take this. Oh, look at that. That's fun. Now point the multi-tool at the rubber duck and press the trigger. You got it, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Ah, uh, I've missed this. That's beautiful. Now comes the really cool part. Oh, really? That machine with the shrinkagen is the opticizer. It uses shrinkagen to scale individual objects up and down. I technically shouldn't let you use it. But? but 
A small experiment will hurt. Yes! You. All right. Put the capsule with the rubber ducky on that circle to the right of the machine. Okay. Boop. Let's scale it up and make a huge rubber what? duck. I have many more shrinkage and tanks stored away. We can use this one up. Yeah, making things smaller is fun and all, but trust me, making things <sighs> big is way better. No, I totally agree. One of my all-time favorite things in virtual reality is scale. Being able to experience things from a viewpoint you wouldn't otherwise. And I have a feeling this game now, is going to be all about to that. A giant rubber duck into the world. Oh my gosh. I think that's going to be our rubber ducky. Okay. Energize. <laughs> well done. <laughs> now, to take a look at the new giant duck, we will get huge ourselves. Yes. Go to the other machine, the Scalevator, and set its lever to the mountain icon. Okay. Then... Press the button when you're ready to see what this lab can really do. All right, so we got kilometers, meters, millimeters, umami meters, and nanometers. I'm going to sound really dumb through most of this video. Pretty much like every other day. But that's fine. We're already learning stuff. Did you know that they were mostly plastic and not rubber? I did it. Now we know. Let's go. Oh, we get a nice little window. Ooh. Oh, we're growing. We're going to be big. Welcome oh my to the gosh. Room. You are so big now that the city looks like a bunch of toys below. What? Speaking of toys, I have one more Ooh. thing to show you. Hi. Let's take this ducky for a ride. Yes. Grab the controller with the little antenna in front of you. Uh, yeah, okay. Hold on. Oh, hi. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, quack twice if you think I'm the best YouTuber ever. Uh, yeah, you did it. Okay, all right, grab this. This is the duck drone. Oh my gosh. Duck can reach and manipulate things outside while you stay safe and cozy in the lab. I want to go lots outside, of though. Tools. This one, the claw, grabs when you press the trigger on that controller. <laughs> Use it to pick up the rubber duck. Then we'll do a little obstacle course. You could fly out to, hmm, let's say that lighthouse out on the lake. Okay. And take a turn around it. Sure, easy. I was really good at claw games back in the day, so let's grab the duck. I, did, I nailed it. And then we're going to crash it into this airplane. Oh no! Everyone get away! Ah, ah. And everybody died. This game is gruesome. Okay, let's go drop it off at the lighthouse. And boom. Uh, and boom. Oh, sorry, I can't do it on it. There we go. Oh wait, I'm coming back. I'm coming back with it. Did I win? Shit, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> I was not paying attention. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, I just flooded the world. What is... No. No. My shrinkage. Oh, Doc, how could you do this? Oh, that's not good. That's probably not good to have. Oh, no. Not another problem. My sensors oh. are showing substantial shrinkage oh. leakage in the city. Oh. The wave must have hit the storage tanks. Who knows what happened this time? Uh, there is an ant no, on a skyscraper. I to be shut down again. Please, you need to help me. We need to get down there now. Uh, yeah, but okay, can we just make sure that we confirm that this is your fault and not my fault, okay? Back to the human level. This is you. Oh, the, 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 it's your fault. You did this. And now, now we're going to suffer the consequences. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, wow, oh my god. Marvelous. I mean horrible the sensor report says the shrinkage and tanks are completely empty what so those ants must have soaked up a lot of it oh. but now they're starting to eat the city we need to figure out how to stop them yeah. grab the multi-tool to get some data okay okay he's just going on a rampage sir sir that guy is he is not looking good there's like little ants and then there's big ants and they're eating the donut. I really would like some we of that donut. We have no time to lose. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. To stop them, we should try to find out as much as we can. Use the multi- Just like I feared, it's an inverted shrinkogen malfunction. What? Basically, the shrinkogen has merged with the ants and is stuck now. Of course. We need another huge blast of shrinkogen to get them back to normal. But we're out of shrinkogen. Also, the ants are too spread out to shrink all at once. You need to do two things. Well, okay. Find a way to gather all the ants in one place. Sure. And find the missing shrinkogen to scale them back down. I can do all that stuff. Oh, it's a duck. Get the duck. Another duck? Shouldn't you be at your own lab? Don't, don't I have like and a... it's gone. Strange. I found a missing Keep duck. Keep an eye out for more ducks, would you? 
I'll track them in the collections page yeah. of the lab tab. Oh, I see a duck. I am going to find all the ducks. You think they can? Come on. Where are you? Where are you hiding, duckies? Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Although maybe they're not all here right now. Hi, you are a duck too. <laughs> it's my favorite. Where was the lady that was sitting here? She's probably dead. Okay, should we start scanning stuff? Do you see the spikes on their back? Yeah. And the ones trying to cut out parts of buildings? Uh-huh. These must be leaf cutter ants. Oh. They're called that because they cut and collect bits of plants to tend their gardens. They're super strong and have complex societies. They won't be easy to handle. Oh man, we got the hard ants. Let's scan one of the yellow ones. This one is a minor, one of the smaller leaf cutter ants. Leaf cutters live in complex societies where every cast has a different task. Yeah, of course. Miners forage for food and leaves to bring back to the nest. They're like Egyptians. <laughs> this guy is so unhappy. I want to scan him. I hope I'm not missing any more ducks. Okay, what else do I need? Uh, I'm missing. I need to scan something. This man? No. Donuts? No. Water? What water? This must have been left over from the wave earlier. Too bad for us. It doesn't seem to have damaged the ants. Oh, well, that's they not good. water repellent surfaces. What? Pesky giant buggers. Oh, they're, they're like the perfect predator. Okay, I'm still, I still need to... I'm gonna scan this guy again. This is a major leaf uh -huh. cutter ant. Majors are the biggest of the four subgroups of leaf cutter ant workers. They're basically the soldiers of the colony. Oh, boy. They point each other towards threats that need taking care of. When one major signals a threat to the rest of the group, the troops come rushing in. Oh, what is happening? Blast it! That's a volcano. Why is there suddenly a volcano in the midst of our city? See a volcano, drink a volcano, be a volcano. And it's so tiny. A volcano? That belongs to another Kurzgesagt lab. The wave must have dragged it here. Sure. Quick, put a capsule in the multi-tool and collect it so I can return it. Um, yes, sir. It must have been hit I got a volcano. Well. The good news is, this object has flexible shrinkage in. Put it in the opticizer to scale it up. Now move the yellow lever uh -huh. to the correct scale. So and it's press a the regular. To extract the shrinkage in. Good. I sent that back to the energy lab and saved the shrinkage in. Okay. Oh, it was look at that. Not the only one. If you can find the others, we can collect enough shrinkage in for the ants. So I need to find things that don't fit uh, in this world. Do they, do they appear in, like, the little bubble stuff? Can I do anything with this I guy? I don't think the drone can help us against those giant ants. Oh, you don't know that. All right, space duck, let's go. We're going to... Uh, that shouldn't be here. That is microscopic normally. This is a bacteriophage, or bacteria eater. I can't believe the wave washed it all the way out here. More inverted shrinkage, but the blast must have been below the malfunction threshold. Return this to its original size uh, so we can harvest the shrinkage back. This one? Mm. It feels great to be back in the scaling game, even with those giant ants and all. Yeah, they're they're kind of rampaging. You'll need to make this one smaller. Well done. Okay. I sent that back to its home lab. Keep an eye out for more things like this. They may be our ticket to shrink these ants. Nice. So we have two groups of ants here. The miners, right. which are responsible for finding food and resources, and the majors, Get the donuts. which protect the colony from threats. <laughs> Maybe we can use that behavior to our advantage. Let's see how they act in their natural environment, the insect realm. Oh, we're going to the insect realm? What do you think, Doc? <laughs> That's the best trigger anyone could hope for. It's the quack trigger. Okay, we gotta go to the insect realm. Uh, which means... Uh, get back in, get back in the, the car! To the insect realm. Jeez. Oh, hi! That's a big bottle of beer. That's gotta be the queen. Oh, she's gotta... I didn't know they had crowns. You see, we're learning so much. Okay, we gotta investigate. I see a duck. Look, there's one of the minor ants uh -huh. doing its job. Collecting food and leaving a trail of pheromones, pheromones to tell the others where to go to get more. Wait, that could be used as a if lure. You had some of those pheromones, you could lead the minor ants wherever you want. Right? Wanted. That's what I'm saying. Okay, hold on. We got duck hiding there. Got him. Uh, oh, space, space mobile. The Mars rover. You're a long way from home, aren't you? Got him. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy, but you gotta go. You gotta go back to your regular size. Yeah, give me that shrinkage in. Okay, perfect. Okay, what? That's a telescope? A telescope? Yep. It's amazing what you can do with a set of curved mirrors in a tube. 
Oh, we're getting all the shrinkage in, baby. Okay, that goes back to human size. Yeah, anything else completely out of place here? Look at all these ants. Oh, and then above us is the city. There's a shoe. Oh, that's a big shoe. Okay, we gotta continue to, what's this guy doing? Hi, buddy. Major ant mandibles are strong enough to even take on large enemies like anteaters what? and armadillos, even when they're regular. Seriously? A banana? Oh, nice. A banana for scale. <laughs> That's an internet joke. All right, banana, you go back to human size banana. Yes. Oh, see, we're filling up. We're filling up. Okay, what else do I have to do? Still got to scan some stuff here. Let's get the queen, obviously. This ant must be the queen. Yeah. Ant. It's much bigger than the I rest. see the duck. Even bigger than the majors. Plus, it has a crown on its Yeah, head. the crown is really the major tip off. Okay, got the duck. Yes. I think that's all the ducks, too. Let me just grab this. Yep. Cha Chapter one, complete duckies. Okay, um, that doesn't look good here. I'll have to have a word with the energy lab. They clearly aren't storing their nuclear waste properly. Yeah. Bad. Bad. You get out of here. That's an airplane. Oh, see, we're just collecting everything, baby. Look at this plane. Passenger seats really are getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> oh, 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 that's like a Jerry Seinfeld joke. What's the deal with airplane food? Boom, and then, I don't know if this becomes mountain size or just... Great, that was all the shrinkage to be connected yes! around here. Now, let's get those ants all together so we can shrink them. Okay, we just gotta get their pheromones, right? What is that? This anthill is probably where those giant ants used to live. Yeah. Anthills are complex constructions with many chambers connected by tunnels. Like the ants, each chamber has a function, like being a nursery, waste disposal, fungi garden, huh. or keeping aphids. That's, I'm learning so much. Okay, what about like the water drops? No, we did that. There's gotta be something else that we need to scan here. Maybe this one? Look, there's one of the minor ants doing its job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about this guy? No? To tell you. The pheromones are essential for ants to communicate. It's That's what we like needed. A scent trail. Except instead of sniffing with noses like we would, ants pick up pheromones via receptors on their antennae, huh. and those pheromones can convey information like threat or donuts. <laughs> God, I wish I had an antenna that told me about donuts. Mmm, donut. Okay, collect something to bring the giant ants together, like a donut, right? Right, uh, what would, or be, beer, like the, okay. Can I collect giant donut? No. No, something, something that I gotta get. Oh, I can collect the pheromones. Giant ants need giant pheromones. We should have enough shrinkage by now to scale them up. Try using the opticizer. Uh, now you need to deploy them. So again, push the yellow button on the opticizer. Is that, is mountain size? How big of pheromones do we need? All right, let's go just human size, maybe? Okay. I don't know if that's too old. Oh. Great. Now, Duck will be able to help you lay your own human-sized pheromone. <laughs> oh, I do that most of the time in the bathroom. Okay, let's go to normal size. Back to the human realm we go. This is cool. Like, there's not a, a ton of gameplay, but just the experience of what we're seeing. The, the kind of puzzle solving. You should have just oh, enough pheromones. pheromones to attract all the minor ants. Okay, great. Uh, Time to show you another feature of the drone, the vacuum beam. Get out there, duck. Drive the drone over to those pheromones and pull the trigger to suck them up. Okay. Ooh, suck, sucky. Nice. Now you can use the drone to lay a path. Oh. Pull the trigger to spray pheromones at the ground. That's a good spot. Just do that a few more times okay. to make okay. a path from the end. Good. You've got the start of a train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then over here on the donuts, just follow the arrows. Is that it? Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> Duck drone is the best. One more spray should do it. He's gonna help me get out of here. I can't go any further, so right That's there. the minor ants gathered up. Now we just need to get the major ants together so we can shrink them all with one good blast of shrinkage. Okay. Blood. Let's go back to the insect realm and see what we can find to attract the major I'm ants. I'm gonna say donuts. They seem to be particularly interested in donuts, but let's go see. Oh. Major ants respond to threats to the colony. Other ants can create a burst what? of alarm pheromones that says there's something scary here, and the majors will come deal with the problem. Okay, so we've got a different situation. All the little tiny ants are gone, so let's scan these boys. 
Major ant mandibles are strong enough to even yeah, take yeah, on yeah, large enemies. Major ant mandibles yeah, yeah, yeah. are okay. strong oh, enough dear. to even take on large enemies. Like the major ants oh my gosh. seem awfully interested in this boss. What? <laughs> there was another ant in there. It must be releasing alarm pheromones that are making the major ants react. Unfortunately, even though you freed it from the bottle, it's still stuck in that water drop. Well, can we can we get it out? Thankfully, ants don't get their oxygen by sucking air into their lungs, so the water doesn't get inside very quickly. Oh, that's good. But they do have openings in their body, so they can't stay alive in that drop forever. Oh. If you collect it, maybe we can help it out. Okay. Uh, let's let's get that guy out of there. At this size, the forces holding the water drop together are stronger than the ant. You may be able to help by manipulating the scale of the water drop around it. We have enough shrinkage to do that. Can I, can I make it big ant? Big, big ant? Oh! That should have had some effect. Let's go to the human realm and see. I th we're gonna save that little ant's life. The forces that make water <laughs> molecules stick together are strongest at the edge of a water drop. So as soon as the drop is so big there's more middle than edge, the water drop breaks apart. You're free! These alarm pheromones indicate that this ant sees us as a huge No, 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 I saved you. It's trying to call in reinforcements to protect the colony. Oh, shit. Oh, And here shit. come the major ants, ready to eliminate the threat. Oh, no. Which in this case is us, <laughs> so you might want to hide. <laughs> pew, 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 pew! We have plenty of shrinkage to take care of all these ants. Just grab that other capsule, put it in your multi-tool, and blast those ants. Gr grab the, this capsule? Ah, butcher! No, not this capsule. What? Oh, this capsule. Oh. All right, duck. You ready for this? Get out of here, ants. Burn! Perfectly regular sized leaf cutter ants going home to their perfectly we regular did sized colony. I'd say that's a job well done. But let's make a quick trip up to the mountain. They're all going to into sure the little. We got them all. Oh, that's so cute. We should really clean that up, though, you know? Yeah, you're all welcome. Saved the city. Very minimal damage. I will... Uh, I will have some of that donut, though. I like the screensaver. Oh, it hit right in the corner. Sort of a where's Waldo. Oh! <laughs> right when I first looked. That's incredible. Okay, let's go up. Oh, it's nighttime. Wow. We got all the ants, but now there's... What? Is that a tardigrade? What? That's incredible. We have to go see it up close. Take us back to the wait, human realm. Wait, why is there a tardigrade on the city? They're very, very tiny. This is cool. Hello, you like this, Ducky? So I think we're beginning a new mission here, a second chapter, which means we're going to have to look for ducks again. We're going to have to collect shrink again, and we're going to learn about tardigrades, some of the coolest little tiny animals that you'll ever know about. To the human realm we go. I'm so excited. Ah, uh, giant ants are one thing, but tardigrades? Now that's an enemy I can get behind. Oh! Wow, that's a huge tardigrade. It's so cute. I love tardigrades. They are so cool. Right? These troops are a total overkill. I'm sure it just wants to play. We need to scale it down before it gets hurt. <clears throat> and causes more damage, of course. Wait, why are there tanks? Why? Why, why do we have tanks? Okay, so we got to do some investigation. Grandma, now is not the time to order hot dogs. I think we could start by scanning our big boy here. Normally, this tardigrade would be about 500 microns long. Of course. Or around the size of a grain of sand. It's so cute. Even though they're so small, they can withstand all sorts of extreme conditions. Stuff that would surely kill you is no problem for them. Okay, well, don't rub it in. All right, do a scan a tank. They really didn't need to bring out the tanks for this. The tardigrade doesn't mean any harm. Oh, right? Thankfully, it looks like they're just waiting for now. Yeah, okay, no one make a first move, okay? We gotta find ducks. We gotta find ducks. What's this? Debris? This used to be one of those barricades until the tardigrade stepped on it. Oh. There's likely to be a lot more rubble around if you don't find a way to slow it down. I mean, look, it's just sitting pretty. I wanna give it, like, a treat. Here you go. Here you go. Ugh. You can't really, can't really throw anything in in this game unfortunately but maybe get out there duck would you like to eat a duck yeah you can, you can high five whap good job good job duck okay what else can we scan what else water tardigrades are aquatic creatures they're often called water bears right 
Even the ones that live mostly on land have a thin film of water over their bodies. Got it. It helps them feel cozy and stay active. Gotta scan it first. It seems like the shrinkage and leak is still wreaking havoc on the other labs. That's more tidying up for us, but also more shrinkage in for the tardigrade. Yep, gonna need to collect as much of this as we can. Let's say this size. Nope. We need more clues. This size. This is the perfect opportunity for you to visit the bacteria. Oh, I see you, Duck. I see I you. I love seeing tardigrades in their natural environment, and we might get an idea about how to deal with them. Oh, I am a duck hunting machine. Okay, we got a, we got a, there we go. Something's appearing. Okay, perfect. That's a neutrophil, the enthusiastic killers in your bloodstream that live to take out intruding bacteria. Oh, that sounds terrifying. Anything else out of place here? Like this hot dog cart? See, the ice cream vendor or, knows they're perfectly safe. Yeah, she's just waiting for her ice cream. Oh, 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 there we go. That's some molecules. Ah, caffeine. Probably one of humanity's favorite molecules. That's caffeine? Wow. Okay, that's like way down there, right? Teeny tiny, teeny tiny. Okay, we're filling up, we're filling up. Anything else around here look out of place? That, oh, it's gone. So things that kind of jump up and down, you can scan. That's good to notice. Never mind the red light now. Giant Todd Gray trumps traffic rules. <laughs> okay, that's right. All right, let's get, oh, something was right there. Let's get tiny, baby. Oh boy. Oh, he's gonna be so big. Oh, little tiny tardigrades. inside that puddle now. Water may look empty to you most of the time, but here in the bacteria realm, oh. you can see that there's a whole other world that's full of life. Oh, it's awful. Including tardigrades. Oh, it's awful. This is what we drink. This is, this is, there's a duck. There's a duck. We drink ducks, tiny microscopic ducks. Okay, there's one more duck somewhere around here. Keep your eyes peeled for him. Do you know where the duck is? Is that a Twinkie? Ah, uh, oh, it disappeared. It might have been a Twinkie. Is that a Cheeto? Nematodes are one of the few animals which can resist dehydration to similar levels as tardigrades. Huh. They can also get rid of most of the water in their cells and come back to life just normal. Is that... is that the moon? That's no moon. <laughs> Wait, no. Yes, it is. That's a, I get that reference. It's got a, look at that happy face of the moon. <gasps> You're incredible. Okay, we need to make you real big, though. No moons in the water I'm drinking, please. I just want to find that other duck. What is, what is the bloop? What is all, what is that, a shrimp? Rotifers are also able to defend themselves against dehydration. Of course. When they feel the water is getting scarce, they pull a similar trick to the tardigrades and curl themselves up as the water discharges from their bodies, huh. decreasing their volume greatly. Is that what these guys are doing? Hi, buddy. I'll scan you next. You're cute. Tardigrades are like little tanks. Oh my god, I but love when you. when they don't like the environment, no, they come go back. into an inactive tun state, where they basically put being alive on hold. So that's... Getting the big one into dog? its tun state oh, it's a would make it a lot easier to scale down. Give me that cheeseburger. Is that the new veggie patty from the health lab? Oh, veggie patty. Ugh, I don't, I don't want that anymore. Then you can, you can have it back. All beef, baby. Okay, so what are you guys doing here? These tardigrades are just waking up from tun state at the moment. Lots of things can cause a tardigrade to go into its tun state: heat, cold, dehydration, high pressure, or lack of oxygen. Sure. These ones might have been dehydrated until that wave came along. So we saved the tardigrades. You're welcome. What? It, uh, Twinkie. A grain of rice. Oh. A staple food for roughly half the world's population. Um, or, or rice. Hey, right, that should be what? Ant size-ish? Yeah, there we go. Alright, we are filling up. We are almost at the top there, so we gotta make sure nothing else pops in around here. We're also, we're missing a duck. What is this thing? This thing came over here. Moss is a great hiding place for tardigrades because it traps water, provides shelter, and it's actually the inspiration for my favorite nickname for them, Moss Pigeons. Oh my god, that's moss so cute. Is also one of their favorite snacks. Oh my god, I'm gonna go collect a bunch of moss and say that I have a tardigrade encampment. Okay, and then you? What are you? Green algae like this are an important source of oxygen and food for other organisms that live in water. Sure. 
Thank you. And you? This is a single-celled organism called a diatom, uh -huh. sometimes called jewels of the wow. sea. These tiny organisms generate a big chunk of all the oxygen produced on Earth. Seriously? Oh, well, and on behalf of all the people on the planet, uh, thank you. All right, duck, duck, duck. There's gotta be a duck. Somewhere we would least expect a duck would be where the duck is hiding. But I, I legitimately... I don't see a duck. Maybe there's no more down here and we have to go the back up. Tab is a useful resource. If you're ever feeling at a loss, I'm not feeling lost. I just need to, to find a duck. On everything you've done so Can I go far. lower? Can we get smaller? Oh, we're get, we're getting tiny. Oh, boy. It's so empty right now. I don't think we're supposed to be here, duck. This is this is wild. Okay, let's go back to human size and see how our big old tardigrade is doing, huh? Hi, buddy. I'm gonna name you Franklin. Franklin the Tardigrade. Now, if I remember, something was spawning on this bench, this right here. Strange matter. No, really. That's what it's called. Oh, well, it is rather strange. And now it's ours. And I think this might be the last bit of shrinkage that we need. Nope, one smaller. Okay, bye bye. Are we full up? Maybe not. Maybe we're still missing a little something something. Okay, I have to collect a tardigrade snack. Moss! I have to go collect that moss! Okay, well, let's go back! The Tun State is a really special power. When they're like this, tardigrades have been oh. known to survive six times the pressure at the bottom of the Mariana's Trench, Jeez. the deepest part of the ocean, and the vacuum of space. A giant moss to snack on will surely distract our big buddy from those barricades for a while. Okay, good. Let's bring that up to hu human size or mountain size? Maybe mountain size. That's going to be a really big piece of moss. Oh my god. Okay, let's go see how that worked out for us, shall we? Just going to take a quick little peek around here and make sure that I'm not missing a duck. Did you get enough moss, buddy? Oh. Now then. There are lots of ways to make a tardigrade go into its tun state. High pressure, lack of oxygen, dehydration, heat, cold. Sure. If we had a tasty snack, you could use the drone to lure the tardigrade somewhere with one of those things. I think I might have made the moss a little bit too big. Can I can I, can I capture that again? Uh-oh. Did I ruin it? Did I ruin the moss? Okay. Uh, ice cream. Because it'll make it cold, right? Ice cream is stored around zero degrees Fahrenheit, so using this to chill the tardigrade is worth a try. Ah? Uh -huh. We just need to lure the tardigrade closer. I bet it would go after that moss if you made it bigger. I can't, I cannot make it bigger. That's as big as moss gets, my dude. Okay, maybe if we go to mountain scale. Nope, that's not what I meant. Okay, go to mountain scale. And that's a lot of moss. Moss is a great hiding place for tardigrades. Yeah, 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 we know. Okay, so let's get this back in and let's bring that to human size. I don't moss see a duck. Moss is also one of their favorite snacks. Okay, that's gonna shrinky dinky, and then we go back to that, and boom. Okay, that's a more manageable size of moss, I feel. Um, do you, you want it, buddy? How would I duck? Let's go. Okay, if I can get him. The claw on the drone is perfect for moving things around. Ness, where should we lead the target? Ice cream. Maybe someplace cold. Ice cream, yeah. Oh, come on, take a bite. It's tasty, come on, buddy. tasty moss. Yes, yes. Oh, I uh, almost ate Oops, the ice cream vendor. But it was a long shot anyway. The cart isn't cold enough to chill the entire tardigrade. We can try drying it off instead. Anything around we can use to dry a huge it? Huge hair dryer would be perfect. Or a bonfire. Ah, uh, okay. But like a tree? There's a tree over here. A tree? Hmm. Bonfire would probably dry out the tardigrade, but live trees don't make very good firewood. Hmm, what about the broken barriers? Those bits of wood don't make a very good barricade, uh -huh. anymore, but they could make a great fire. That's what I'm saying. The heat would dehydrate the tardigrade, and at this distance, we wouldn't accidentally roast it. <laughs> I can't go grab it, so do I have to, like, how do I collect it? Okay, well, there's something else I need to investigate around here. Is it, is it you? The easiest way to get the tardigrade into its tun state is probably to cool it down or find a way to dry up its watery coat. Oh, wait. Can I grab we the ice cream? for a fire, so technically all we need is a match, but that's boring. There are much cooler ways to create a spark. Let's swing by the molecular realm. Uh, okay. That's like the really tiny one, right? 
Let's go! Maybe that's why I couldn't find the dock, because it's in this realm. But we just hadn't gotten all the stuff in there yet. Oh, oh now we got some molecules. To the molecular realm. Thank you. Remember that broken barricade? These are its molecules, uh -huh. plus some from the air around it. Oh, uh, that, that doesn't belong there. This is a cooling tower. It cools water by exposing as much of the water's surface to air as possible. Huh. See, we're learning, folks. What do we learn? That's probably the last thing that we're going to need. No, no, you want to make that human size? All right. Now we have plenty yes. of shrinkage for the tardigrade. As soon as we get it calm down. Wow, we gave it a nice moss snack. So first things first, find the duck. Quack, quack, little ducky. I see you. Yes. Okay, is that all the ducks? Because that's really all I care about. Perfect. Okay, let's do this. Fire needs fuel. Anything with both carbon and hydrogen atoms will burn if you get it hot Sure. Enough. So these cellulose molecules in the wood should do just fine. Hell yeah. What about these guys? Oxygen is a key ingredient to fire. But regular oxygen molecules bouncing into things don't cause fires. Hmm. If they did, we'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. For the oxygen molecules to react with the fuel, we'll need more and stronger collisions. So let's take this. No. Okay. Got to keep scanning. Got to keep scanning. Scanning stuff. You no. Know? Maybe maybe this guy. Fire needs fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I, can I grab them? Oh. I originally made the drones flagellum to help duck move around <laughs> in the smaller realms. But it's also good for stirring up molecules. Ooh. Press the trigger to make it spin. Oh my gosh, wait, can I like go smack this stuff? That, that did not work how I wanted it to, but what if I'm over here? With enough force, oh. oxygen molecules are able to break down the bonds oh, between no. molecules in the wood, releasing energy and light. Oh no! Fire is chemistry and physics in action. I don't know if I should be here when this is all happening. What if one hits me? Okay, let's grab that. When oxygen breaks down the bonds between molecules in the wood, one of the new molecules that forms is water vapor. Sure, right. Forming new molecules like that releases energy in the form of heat, which is why fire feels hot to us. Oh my god, I'm learning! These carbon dioxide molecules were formed in this combustion reaction. They'll come in handy when it's time to put the fire out. Right, smother the oxygen. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on in here. Carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, so large quantities of it can get in between the fire and its fuel, cutting off the combustion reaction. We only have a little right now, but you know how to make that into a lot, right? Uh, yeah, H human size? I guess? A few molecule-sized molecules wouldn't be enough to put out a fire, but a few giant molecules will be. Uh oh Those are waiting for us in the human realm whenever you're ready. All right, let's see what horrible destruction mm, we have wrought. Roaring fire. So cozy. Agitating those oxygen molecules with the drone started a combustion Oh my gosh. Reaction. In other words, <gasps> fire. Look at it. You'll recognize it once we're back in the human realm. There's the carbon dioxide. He's getting all hot. He's getting hot and bothered. He's going to go into his ton state. Okay, observe the effect on the fire. Yep, I see it. He's getting all... Ooh, got the vapors! Scientists don't know everything about how the tardigrade ton state works yet. Though tardigrades can use a certain kind of sugar to replace the water in their huh. And that protects their internal structures. That's what I try to do with Oreos. Okay, then we got the, the fire here. Fire turns oxygen and fuel into entirely new molecules. That's where this ash comes from. Ah, oh. Okay, we got the carbon, no, yeah, carbon dioxide, yeah. These carbon dioxide molecules were formed in this combustion reaction. They'll come in handy when it's time to put the fire But out. it's not time Why yet. I already, I already collected it. Wait, do I need more? Observe the effect of the fire on the tardigrade. Uh, okay, is there anything else I'm supposed to be scanning here? Okay, maybe I made this thing the wrong size. Maybe it's too big. Let's make it just molecular or bacterial. Okay, let's go see how that works. Okay, back here. This doesn't seem to be right. Collect that back in. Okay, let's make it ant-sized. Or maybe we have to make it giant. Does it does it like that one? I don't know. Maybe maybe we make it a mountain. Let's let's make it a mountain. There it goes. That's gonna be a lot of molecules. Okay. And oh, here it is. Bet you wish you had some marshmallows now. See the steam coming off the top, yeah. right? 
That's the film of water around its body evaporating. Oh. It will go into its ton state shortly and stay there until you can shrink it down and return it to the oh, water. Oh, yay! Don't worry. In that state, it can survive almost anything. It'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, you'll be fine, buddy. Don't you worry. Okay, uh, I just need you to shrink. Just need it to... Oh! <laughs> He's so cute! Okay, and then what? I take this? No. Sc scan him. Scientists don't know everything. Oh my god. Alright, so let's grab the drone. Gotcha. And then what? We put out the fire? Do I need to do something with this? Get the drone ready to extinguish the fire. Uh I think I made it too big. I think I made it too I think it's gotta be human size. I really do. Okay, to the mountain realm! Not entirely sure why that didn't work the first time, but you know what? It's it's okay. Let's go. Okay. So now we can pick this up, and then we drop Just fly it. Just the drone over the fire and pull the trigger to release the CO2. Phew. Yes! Okay. Now what? Now we gotta shrink the guy, right? Which means, yeah! Oh, Franklin. I'm gonna miss you so much, buddy. But you're going back to the life you deserve. Good In the water. It's so tiny! Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Now, let's get rid of that giant rubber oh, duck. Um, we don't want it reminding everyone who's caused all this trouble. Uh, it was Head you. To the mountain realm when you're done. It was here. you. I want to make sure it's Grandma. I just want you to know that it was the narrator. Okay, I know you hear him too. He's he's behind everything here. I'm a good one, right, Duck? <laughs> yeah, I love him. To the mountain realm. What's what could possibly happen next, right? Okay. Okay. Time to clean up. All right. This looks normal. Oh. oh. Ugh. It appears something large and slimy is oozing through town. Hmm. What? Back to the human. What realm we did go. you do, my dude? Oh, we got slimered. That has a big old flagellum. Oh man! All right, it's never that easy. Look at the cities; they're just covered in slime. It's it's all the duck's fault, which is really all your fault. You dropped it in the water way too hard, sir. It's all your fault. All right, let's go see what this is all about. Oh. Oh, that's a, a very large protist, and it appears to be eating anything within oh, reach. Oh no! Well, you know the drill. Scan away. Oh, it's oh, it's so. Oh, oh, there's goo everywhere. Okay, hi, buddy. You're just kind of right there, aren't you? Uh, excuse me. He he was right there. The duck. Okay, I know this duck. Hey, those lab there he is. aren't up for grabs. Before we scale the protist down, we need to make it spit out all the stuff it swallowed. Well, I can't grab that duck. What about the one in the sewer? Huh, gotcha. Go back to your lab before you get eaten, ah, too. Phew, okay, we got that one. Oh, look at that thing. That is nasty. This stretchy single-celled packet of slime is a protist. Protists right, are what we call things that aren't plants, animals, or fungi. Kind of a none-of-the-above option. Ugh. Usually, you can only peek at them in a drop of water under a microscope. Yeah, well, we're the lucky ones now, huh? Okay, hold on. There's something there. Ugh, another Kortskazak lab must have been hit by the shrinkogen leak. At least fixing these will give us the shrinkogen we need to shrink that protist. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. Like some sort of weird star thing? Nope. Smaller. Nope. It's it's a plant. Is that a star? What? Are you... It is a star. Oh. I would have made that. Uh, this guy's gonna drown if we don't get him out of there soon. Okay, anything else that we could scan around here? We also have to be on the lookout for things that do not fit, of uh, which I'm sure we'll find a few. Oh, oh, there was something, something right up there. It'll come back. Oh my God, is that? That's a primordial black hole. These are thought to have formed just under a second after the Big Bang. Dude, think of the destruction that we could rot with the black hole. We can make it, like, if it was actually a black hole on top of that tree, we'd all be just soup like that immediately. Okay, let's get that the hell away from our solar system, shall we? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, maybe really tiny? Okay, real tiny black hole, I guess. Uh, sure. Okay, something I still have to scan here. I just don't know that. No, that's the whole thing. No, no, no. What do you want from me? 
What do you want me to scan? Oh, the water. I thought that was a shadow. The puddle is probably where the protist came from. Most of them live yeah, in water. Yeah, water's pretty essential. With just essential. one cell and no means to reach it, it's best to live surrounded by water to begin with. Yeah, that makes sense. So, what is, is it going to be okay now? Oh, God. It keeps reaching for more. We need to make it spew out the stuff it's eaten. Let's observe it in its natural habitat and try to find a solution there. Okay. Take us to the bacteria realm. Yeah, yeah, maybe we just feed it some, like, hot Cheetos or, or some buffalo wings until it eats too much and it just throws up. I mean, that could, that could work, right? 